So we're at Walton Heath, the host to the AIG Women's Open 2023. It's made up this year of a composite of the old course and the new course. The last three holes, which are from the old course, can be the make or break of somebody's scorecard, whether you're the best players in the world or not. So let's go and play them. But I think we'll find that if that wind gets up, they're gonna be a bit of a test. The 16th hole, the beginning of the end of the beautiful old course at Walton Heath. It really can be the end of a good card for some. The 16th is a challenging hole which resembles a corridor full of bunkers and tether down the right hand side until you meet a gentle dog leg up to a raised green. A stunning par five with elements of trouble wherever you look. Getting a good drive away is essential if the players are gonna reach this green in two. For many of the best female players, the bunkers down the right are in range off the tee. Those who bomb their drives a lot further will find a safe place past these. Today there was a strong wind in our faces and this made for some sensible play. Drive up the right, safe rescue into wind, then clubbing up by two to reach the dance floor. And avoiding what has to be the deepest bunker in Surrey. Don't want to go in there. A fast green that slopes from back left to front right. This hole requires some steady course management and could be the end of a good scorecard. The 17th hole, a raised tee, gazes over to a stunning green on 17, but don't be fooled. If the wind is up, you'll need your wits about you here. Today it was kicking off from the left and gently into, requiring an extra club and a committed finish. The steep greenside bunkers are somewhat menacing and players need to set their sights on a target in the distance so as not to allow them to creep into their minds. The putting surface feels like an upturned pudding bowl and it's wise to get the ball into the centre of this just to be on the safe side. And we come to the final hole, the 18th. Teeing off over a valley of heather, this hole demands focus and some sensible play. The tee shot is challenging and the bunker down the left-hand side of the fairway will make hitting this green into a tall task. It's laced with a steep lip and the defence on this hole is strong with a green surrounded by sand. From the middle of the fairway, you have a relatively short iron in. Another fabulous piece of golf course design here as the bunker short of the green has plenty of dead ground behind it. Meaning an up and down isn't out of the question. This finishing set of holes will challenge the best players on the planet. I can't wait to see what the 2023 AIG Women's Open brings.